Welcome back to Really Gun Adventures. And today I'm going to try and answer a couple of questions. And those questions are, can you fire slugs from a sub 12 foot pound PCP air rifle? Will it work? And is it worthwhile? So let's have a look. The rifle I've chosen is a Hatson flash pump. And really the main reason I've chosen this is it is the least expensive PCP air rifle I could lay my hands on. It's got um, a good barrel and it's been accurate um, more than I expected so it's got a good start. It's also choked. Now a lot of these Turkish air rifles have choked barrels and that could be an issue with slugs so I decided to take a chance and give it a go. Now the slugs that I'm going to use today the spider, it's my old mate, it comes out every now and again. The slugs today are Pro Hunter slugs from Pro Hunter Swaging, it's a UK company. The reason I've chosen those is I had a look around, did a bit of research, and everything just kept coming back to the same place Pro Hunter. Um, they're about the only company that were accessible and that were prepared to say that their slugs could be fired from sub 12 foot pound. In fact, they were designed for that purpose, or some of them are anyway and um, give me some advice. I've had a chat with them, they were really helpful. I've got samples, I've got quite a few samples actually of different types. For the initial test I've chosen to go with the high impact. Um, these are 10.5 grains um, because I thought they're closer to a pellet, I'm taking the chance with a rifle, let's see how it works out. Now being a scientific serious air gun channel Obviously, I've spoken to them in depth. I've read the instructions that came with the slugs. I've ignored them completely. Um, so what I've done is I thought, I'll stick one in the, in the chamber, I'll shoot it into a target. If it gets jammed, that's the end of that. No discussion to have. Anyway, it flew out, hit the target, hit it really hard. So I thought, okay, I'll do another six. Um, and I did, and they all left the rifle at around about 10 and a half of FPE all hit the target um, with a good whack. So I thought, okay, well, there's a video in this. I'll do some shooting. Now, what I've done is I've done three sets of shooting. So there's the initial, completely unscientific, ignoring all the instructions. I'm going against my better judgment and sticking them straight in the rifle. Um, the reason I did that was, um, some of you may have seen a, another uh, channel and his air gun reviews. He had a, an FX, which he stuck an FX hybrid pellet in and it didn't clear the barrel. And that was the end of the sub 12 foot um, review section. And he went on to his FAC guns. So rather than be in that position, I thought I'd find out. It seems to work, let's do some testing. So three lots of shooting. The first lot is the, the naughty straight out the bag shooting to see if it'll work. And uh, it, that a lot of people will think that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think it's great, but I mean, it's pretty good considering. Um, for the next lot, I cleaned the barrel, I lubricated some of the slugs and um, leaded it in with 10 Hades pellets and then fired again. Now that was a much better group, but not as good as I'd like. I was hitting around about 10, 10.6 FPE. This rifle generally fires around about 11.3, 11.4. So they're slower, <clears throat> um, but they are actually retaining a lot more energy now apparently slugs will retain 75 to 80 percent of the energy when fired from a FAC rifle. Um, if they're retaining 65 to 75 fired from a sub 12 foot pound, that's quite impressive and certainly makes them very useful. Um, anyway, I had another little tweak. I won't go into what I did, but we can talk about that perhaps in the next video in the series because I've got lots to test. Um, fired again at the second target again. So what I did is I fired low to leave room for another group above. That last group I aimed at the bullseye and I got a very tidy, very respectable group, all shot at 25 meters. I usually fire at yards and that's because I don't measure. I pace it out and I know that my gate gives me around about you know, a, a one yard step. So this time I've measured it uh, and it turns out I've got a one meter step, 
<laughs> anyway, so every time I say I'm firing at 25 yards, I'm actually firing at 25 meters. I definitely fired this at 25 meters today, and that's because this scope is zeroed to 25 meters. It was zeroed for Hades. I've had to obviously re zero it because of the weight difference. Let's stop talking about this. Let's look at some shooting, right? I'll be right back. Okay, that's the first group. So as I say, that's straight out the bag, straight into the magazine. They fit in the magazine beautifully. Um, and that's not bad, you know, for, for slugs from a subsoil for a pound, 25 yards, that's quite respectable, um, but not good enough. So that's when I decided I'd clean the barrel. I'd let it back in with 10 pellets, pop a little bit of pellet lube on 10. I've only fired six, I think, of those 10 into the target. Um, and I ended a bit lower and I got quite a nice group, which I was happier with. So then I thought, okay, there's other things I can do to this rifle. Had another tweak, went back and did that last group. So let's look at the second group. This is the one where I followed the instructions. Okay, I'll be right back. Now, you see, reading the instructions does make a difference. Uh, and I would never recommend that you don't read the instructions, because we all do, don't we? We all read them religiously. Um, but I did need to know if that was going to clear the barrel on that first lot. So I then went away, had a bit of a tune-up. Um, I don't generally mess around with the Pats and Flash Pup too much, because I quite like it as it is. Um, and it's really good on those Hades, and I get good results. But I thought, let's give these slugs the best chance I can. So have a look at this, I'll be right back. And there you go. Now, I'm really happy with that. I can tell you now that I've fired more since then and I've got better tighter groups, but for the purpose of a quick review and to see the viability of these, that is more than adequate. Now, the concern with slugs is A, will they clear the barrel, and B, they're more expensive than pellets, so are they worth that extra money? From what I can see uh, and what I can gauge from the tests that I've done, the answer is yes, they're worth the money. Um, I wouldn't waste money on 
other slugs that aren't the sub 12 foot pound um, I've got to say these hand waged British made pro hunter slugs seem to fit the bill perfectly there's a good few there to go through so I'm going to try that these were the high impact I'm going to try the standards and I'm going to try the um, heavier I've got some quite 18 grain plus ones there so we'll give those a going in 0.177 now obviously at those weights I'm going to get a trajectory much more like a 2-2 air rifle um, and I would imagine when they hit the other end I'm going to be getting a thump which will take care of any pests that I might be interested in dispatching humanely. While I'm on the subject of that, this isn't a target thing, these are a hunting and pest control pellet, you know you're not going to shoot these into a paper target at 20-30 uh, yards, it's just not going to happen, it's not viable. Um, although they do make a really nice neat hole uh, at 20 yards but at 25 yards and I'm going out now to 30 and 36 yards um, they seem to be surprisingly good now I can't comment on the longer distances because that is going to be part two which is another video and the heavier weights um, now I've satisfied myself that I'm not going to do any real damage to my rifle and they swap the rifles up and try some um, some different ones. I've got a really nice springer that I'd like to pop a couple through, which is uh, well, it's my LGU, which um, I think will probably like these, hopefully. So that might be something I'll do later. Now I'm told, and I'm reliably told, that slugs and springers aren't a good combination. But I was also told that sub 12 foot pound PCPs wouldn't fire slugs. Now not every rifle and every barrel is going to like the slugs. That's really a case of trial and error. Um, maybe I've been lucky and I've picked the one rifle in my selection that's really happy on slugs. I don't think that's the case. I think I'm going to get some good results on the others too. So there we go. Pro Hunter slugs. That's the high impact uh, 10.5 grain, which are the lightest ones I think that I've got. Very good results. Very happy with that and very impressed and I can recommend them. I'll leave a link in the description but I will be back with another video and we'll do the heavier ones, we'll do the standard quality ones and I'll try another rifle and see how that pans out. So thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe. It's a big thank you to all you people who have liked and subscribed, I really appreciate it and um, I'll be back very soon. Bye for now. Bye.